Hi, this is Lady from Keep On Frozen Ministries. Well, this week has been Love Week, Valentine's Week, and on 14th of February, you know, our thoughts turn to how much we love a significant partner or a significant other, or just how we have had love in the past. It can be quite difficult for those who you know, have lost a partner or are on their own when all the world's eyes turn on the 14th of February to the special one, the one we love. And yet, why should it just be on one day? It's interesting, isn't it, how probably more engagements happen on February the 14th than at any other time. And some people celebrate Valentine's not on the 14th, but near to that date, because they know prices to celebrate the day are hiked. You know, restaurants are hard to book, the uh, meals are um, you know, much more expensive, flowers suddenly, you know, ro red roses suddenly become double the price than they are the day before or the day after. It's interesting, isn't it, how commercialisation comes in to what is just a day to celebrate the love that we have for one another. And it's that love that you know, Jesus came to share and he said, you know, go and love one another. Not one person in particular, but one another. In Unfrozen, I have a chapter on love where I explore how as humans we, we need love. We can't survive without love. And it's interesting, you know, when you look at words and language, that in Sanskrit, there's over 80 words for the word love. In Russian, there's over 40. And many other languages have numerous words meaning love. And yet the English has one, love. <laughs> but we do know there's more to love than just the, what one word can express. The commandment said, I am God and to have no other God bar me, put no other God before. We know God loves us. He tells us in so many different ways and this is you know, the base of what the Bible's message is about. It's interesting how this love is expressed. Other people can show God's love in a genuine authentic way by being loving themselves. I know there's great debates in that, particularly how Christians show their love. And in another video, I will be talking about how frightened other people can be of Christians and how this fear factor even comes across from what love might be expressed as. Now, love is an antidote to fear. You can't have fear and love in the same room. So it's quite a juxtaposition. But that is a story for another day. One of my favourite ministers is Chris Bowater and he has a great phrase. He says, go and love on one another. Going and loving on one another can mean as simple as going and giving somebody a smile. But it's the love that wells up inside you which just makes you want to make somebody else's day a happier place. To know that this world is not such a bad place. And if we can express that from the smallest detail, then I think we're doing really well. How are you about loving on? How, about, how are you about loving your neighbour as yourself? How are you about loving your enemy? Some of these are so hard. And sometimes I find it so difficult to love those that are annoying me at the time or that I actually don't like very much. And I have to remind myself that God's love is for them too. That helps me not feel the pressure that I have to love them. But actually, I have to acknowledge that God loves them. And if God sees some love in them, why can't I? So it comes back to examining myself to say, am I being loving at this moment? You know, am I being loving when I'm clenching the wheel of the of the car and muttering horrible things about the person in front of me because they are being silly in their driving you know these are everyday occurrences and it's just like all right you're in a hurry let's bless your way so that you don't endanger yourself or others 
rather than rrrr, which is the first response. But loving one another is what God asked us to do. It's what Jesus said to us. His commandments for us was to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul, and then to love one another. Can we really love God, claim to love God, if we're not loving to other people? Despite what they give us, it's what we give them that is really important. This is our challenge. Let me know how you get on and I'll speak to you again soon. Lady AD, keep on frozen.